Hikers often explore the foothills of the Angeles National Forest, but this group of hikers has a purpose. They are learning how Native Americans used local vegetation for healing. The hike is led by James Adams, who teaches pharmacology at the University of Southern California. The science of pharmacology originally was the science of going out, talking to traditional healers, finding out which plants they use in their healing, and then taking those plants back to the lab to figure out why they work. Aspirin, for example, was derived in the 19th century from salicylic acid, a long-time remedy for pain and fever found in plants like willow and meadowsweet. Adams points out that traditional societies developed their own medicines based on plants. He says California's Chumash people learned through experience which plants worked for specific ailments. We have, of course, the sagebrush that is a, makes a very powerful pain-relieving liniment that I think we should all learn how to use because it's much safer than the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents. It's much safer than the opioid drugs. Sagebrush can be used not only for aches and pains, he says. Its pleasant aroma helps people relax. Other Native American remedies, Adams says, include elderberry flowers, which were used for colds and influenza. The plant called chemise can be used in a balm that helps with skin problems. And he says California Bay has anesthetic qualities that help with toothaches. Adams says the plant called Spanish bayonet was used by American Indians for food. The leaves and roots produce a kind of soap and the fiber from the stems can be used as a poultice for wounds and for making clothing. He warns that some plants are poisonous and says knowledge of vegetation is essential. He says modern pharmaceuticals are important in medicine but are often overused and can be harmful. Certainly if you need a drug that that can help you then you should use that drug but the the, the thing that we keep forgetting is first and foremost to balance your health, get your body back into balance so that your body can heal itself. Adam says a good diet and exercise are two keys to a healthy life and that an educational hike through the Los Angeles foothills is another good way to keep the body in balance. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.